And after this hackathon, the most important aspect, I think Umesh and I both have received messages saying that, you know, we have got a light of the day to start from where we, we have been talking about things. We have been listening, talking, hearing, reading every aspect with regards to technology, but we were not getting to know where we need to start. And our panelists who have been using technology on a regular basis in their day-to-day uh, -day practice have come forward uh, willingly uh, on a pro bono basis to share how small, small things can add value to your entire practice or might be industry where you are working in on a continuous basis. Thank you, Daya, sir, for your uh, opening remarks. And it's an encouraging uh, words that leads us in AI in ICI committee to work further under your chairmanship. And we are also having our leaders, Ranjit Agrawal, sir, president and vice president, Taranjot Singh Ji Nanda, who are guiding us to lead forward in this AI in ICI committee. Friends, now let's focus on today's topic, that is the hackathon part two of uh, <clears throat> use cases in MS Excel. Uh, so now we are moving to the next Chinmay. Over to you, Chinmay. Hello, everyone. Thank you for the amazing uh, case studies by my uh, co-panelists. And I think I can use many of them. So let me start, uh, share my screen. Yeah. Is my screen visible? Yes, your folders are visible. Yes, 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 yes. So this is my uh, small PPT, uh, GST reconciliation in 10 minutes. This is, uh, I have conducted such program in the Institute also, which was really appreciated by the participants. So I'll take this time and do it in less than 10 minutes. Okay. So uh, while doing the GST reconciliation, generally we are required with few things. Uh, how many invoices are matching in the GSTR portal uh, along with the books of accounts? Is there any difference? In uh, if there are invoices in books or invoices min missing in the GST portal, if uh, both the invoices, uh, if the invoices are shown at both the places, is there any mistake in the invoice number or in the invoice amount? So all of these things can be done easily from this tool, which I have developed using ChatGPT. Okay. Uh, the procedure is very simple. You will have to uh, download the GSTR 2B and save the, the folder uh, specified here. Chinmay, Chinmay, yes. we are not able to see. Uh, we are not able to see your complete screen. PPT is not visible. It okay. is just on your OneDrive screen. Is now? Is it now visible? Yeah, share it again. Is it visible now? Yes. Okay. So we will have to download the any GSTR input report from any accounting software. For the sake of this presentation, uh, I have used the tally to be reconciliation report uh, from tally prime. And we will have to just paste the data in the specified folder. No manual intervention, just the case that we have to uh, only rename the file as given in the instructions. Okay. Advantages is uh, that uh, no manual intervention is done and all the thing is done in the background using AI. Now we'll see the live demo. If you can see just a second. Uh, is my folder visible to you all? No, no. No? Just a second. You share it again and you share your entire screen. Okay. I think is it visible now? Yes. Okay, thank you. So here is the folder. We have a folder named books in which we have the details for December month GST input data as per books, which is exported from Tally Prime. Okay. This is the general thing which we get date, particulars, party, GST number, voucher type, document date, taxable amount, IGST, CGST, SGST. And this is very simple. Uh, the data, uh, this is extracted from Tally Prime. Okay. And in the other folder, we have the GSTR to be downloaded for the month of December. 
So this is the normal GSTR to be, which we have downloaded from the portal. Now we'll see how the tool works. This is the reconciliation that we have prepared. So this is the report that we are going to fetch from the database, which we have put in the books folder and the GST folder. See the report that it is giving us access in books, these invoices, this comparison is done on the basis of GST and this comparison on the date basis of invoice level. See, these are match invoices here, match invoices here. In this, we can see that Haryana export, just a second, need to hit refresh, sorry. I think it's showing some error. Yeah. In this, we can see there is a party name as Food and Dairy Private Limited. As per books, the total GST input is 6,300 and as per GST portal to 25,000. So we, uh, this can be done usually, uh, easily done using the power, uh, sorry, we look a formula, but to get the details, which invoices are not reflected in the books of account. That also we can get here. We can see here. Food dairy 6,321 and 6,321 are getting as and few invoices 19,000. There is a difference. So when we'll just double click on that, we get the list of the parties which are not reflected in the books of account. Okay. Now what I will do, I'll just uh, update the data for the month of January so that we all can see the tool is working fine and it is not just doing the pre uh, saved data only okay i have just updated the month of january we'll go to the portal in the reports and we'll just go to data and press refresh all it will take few seconds to upload it. Just a second. We'll have to click on refresh. We'll click on okay. We just need to close it. And we'll click on refresh again. The final report is updated using the January month also. Now we have two reports in this for the month of December and the month of January also. Just a refresh. Just a second. Now we have the cumulative data for December and January. Now you can see there are few invoices in the difference of invoices in the books and GST for Haryana exports. This is on the level of GST number. Okay. So difference amount of, I think 75,000 are not reflected in GST. Okay. In this report, which is done using the invoice value comparison, we are having this uh, 1000, uh, sorry, 84,000 details, which are not reflected in books. We'll click on this and we will get the detailed report every time. So this tool has uh, all the ingredients which is necessary for doing the comparison of GST. It is absolutely free, done do, uh, using Power Query and AI. Yeah, and, last two minutes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you. And anyone can use this. All they have to do is to export these reports from their respective accounting softwares and paste it in the folder as specified. All they have to do is to download the reports from the GST portal and paste it and they have to click on refresh. 
all these reports will be generated automatically and very smoothly. So that's it for my presentation. Thank you all. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Chinmay, for the beautiful presentation and your use case will be very useful for all our members.